Once you've installed Test Management for Jira, all you need to do is head to your Jira project where you can enable it from the page link in this message. You'll need admin permissions to do so. In the Jira project settings page, toggle the on button to enable Test Management for Jira. Now head back to your project by clicking the test button at the top of the screen and you're all set to get started. In the tests tab, you can manage your test library for the selected Jira project. First, create a new folder by clicking the Create Folder link on the left-hand side. Then create a new test case by clicking the New button at the top of the screen. This will take you to the Create Test Case screen, where you can fill out the name, objective and precondition of the test case, as well as some other standard fields and custom fields. On the Test Script tab, you can add steps to your test case by filling in the fields Step, Test Data and Expected Result. You can use the Call to Test button to reuse steps from another test case. On the Execution tab, you can track previous execution results of this test case. And on the Traceability tab, you can link your test case to requirements, bugs, confluence pages and web links. You can create new Jira issues to link to your test case or select an existing one by searching within your JIRA projects. The Attachments tab shows any files attached to your test case, and the Comments tab shows the stream of comments. In the History tab, you can track any changes made to this test case by the team members. Once you've done this, click the Save button and then head back to the test library. The test case has now been created and is available to be used in any JIRA project or to be executed as part of a test cycle. You can also manage test cases and traceability from the issue view in JIRA. Under the traceability section of a JIRA issue, you can see any linked test cases. You can also create a new test case and add an existing one. If you click on add existing test cases, you can reuse a test case available in any JIRA project that you have permission to browse. Just apply filters or select the folder, then select the desired test case and click Add. The test case has now been linked to your JIRA issue as you can see in the traceability section. You can also create a new test case by clicking on the plus icon where the new test case screen is displayed. Go ahead and fill in the desired fields and then click Save. Now click Back to return to the issue view screen and you'll see that the new test case has been linked to the issue. Returning to the test library, go to the Cycles tab where you can manage test cycles. Here you can create, manage and track the test execution cycles within your project. On the left hand side you can create folders to organise the cycles in a hierarchical structure. Click Create New Folder and fill in the folder name. Then click on the New button to create a test cycle. Simply fill in the name and the details of the cycle, as well as any custom fields you've created. To add test cases to your cycle, head to the Test Cases tab. Click on the Add Test Cases button and filter or search for the desired test cases. Then click Add. Now you can assign environments and testers to your test cases. The Traceability tab shows any JIRA issues, confluence pages, web links and test plans that are linked to your test cycle. The Attachments tab shows any attachments for the test cycle and the Comments tab shows the stream of comments. On the History tab you can see any changes made by your team members to this test cycle. When you're ready, save your test cycle and head back to the test library. Clicking directly on the test cycle will take you to the test player. This is where the tester will execute the tests in a given cycle. The test cases are displayed on the left side where you can filter and group them. To start a new execution, simply click the start a new execution button for the test case and then start the timer. Scroll down to see the fields for this test case, make any updates required and then start executing the steps. You can pass or fail steps by clicking the tick or the cross, or select another status from the drop-down. To raise a defect in Jira, click the cog. 
and select Create Issue. Fill out the details of the defect and click Create. The link is then created automatically. Now head back to the test library where you can monitor the progress of each test cycle. From the issue view in JIRA, you can see the latest execution results of each test case linked to your issue. You can also start a new execution for a single test case by clicking the play button. Set the environment, then click start to begin the execution. You'll then see the test execution view for your test case. Set the timer and execute the test steps as usual clicking the tick or cross to pass and fail. Then click back to return to the JIRA issue. You'll see the new execution result under the test case. Under the reports tab, you'll see all the reports available in test management for JIRA. There are four categories. Test execution, test library, traceability, and issues. Each report can be filtered by JIRA project, as well as test cycle, test plan, iteration, version, folder, and custom queries. Once you set the filter, generate the report to see the results. This summary report shows a collection of useful testing data for the test cycle we've selected, such as issues reported over time, and test results by coverage. You can print or export the data for each report by clicking on the buttons in the right hand corner. Test Management for JIRA has 60 reporting gadgets available to use on the JIRA dashboard. Click Add a new gadget and search for the report you'd like to display. Then apply any filters, such as JIRA Project and Test Cycle, and click Save. The report gadget is now visible on your JIRA dashboard.